Hi everybody! Uh, welcome to November. It's been a it's been a wild ride this <laughs> month already. Um, yeah, so it's that time of month again where I'm hopping on and I'm chatting about everything I made in October, which already feels like an absolute lifetime ago. Um, but yeah, I made some cool stuff in October that I'm excited to share with everybody. So let's go straight in. Um, the first thing I made in October was a project for uh, in conjunction with Minerva, who I'll be chatting about again a little later on. I made a wonderful pair of Winslow culottes from Helen's Closet, which I'll put a picture to up there, um, using fabric from Minerva Crafts in exchange for a blog post. Just want to put that disclaimer out there. This is the leopard print fabric. Um, I cannot believe I haven't made anything of leopard print up until this point. It's really quite surprising. Um, it is a neutral, don't let anyone tell you different. Um, and this is a lovely viscous chalet. Um, on Minerva's website you can get it in brown, but you can also get it in kind of grey as well. Um, I went for the traditional leopard print this time, but if you didn't want to hop on there and order either the brown or the grey, um, you still can. Um, and I'll put links to everything in the description box as per usual. Um, so they look amazing. I'm so happy with them, but my God, was it a challenge. Um, this is the first sewing project I've done where anything that could have gone wrong did. Um, so basically the long and short of it was installing the zip back to front was not an ideal way to almost finish it. So that took a bit of a botched job getting out and kind of putting back in. Um, and then after all the drama, oh, and as well, I cut out one of the pattern pieces completely incorrectly, so I had to start all over again. And um, that was horrible. Um, I don't know about everyone watching, pattern cutting, fabric cutting, cutting rather, is my absolute least favorite job. I don't have a lot of room in my flat to do it. My desk is quite small, so I kind of have to do it really like bunched up and I've got a carpeted floor so it's not very good for it so having to do that bit again was not a good start and then the zip drama and then at the end with all that stuff kind of you know done um they didn't fit which was great they were too big so the um the culottes do up with a back um a zip at the back and yeah when I tried them on it was like they were just too big um the pattern does have like quite a lot of ease in it and they're good trousers to fit because you only need to go by the waist measurements. But I'd obviously like measured incorrectly or, you know, underestimated the amount of ease maybe. I'm not sure what happened, but anyway. Luckily, I got in touch with a sewing uh, community on social media who were incredibly helpful as always. And someone directed me to um, two blog posts that Helen from Helen's Closet has on her blog about how to um eliminate the zip and just have an elasticated waist um obviously that blog post assumes that at the start you'll know what you're doing and be able to kind of uh, account for it in the first instance but obviously i didn't have that luxury unfortunately so fitting in the elastic was a little bit of a botched job <laughs> but i did it and i'm really happy with the end result even if um looking at them brings back horrible memories of uh, of sheer despair on my sewing table but anyway they're really good they're really fun i'd really recommend the pattern as well i wouldn't say an absolute beginner but i'd say if you're kind of confident and you know what you're doing then these are amazing i'm gonna make a shorter pair for the summer i think and um yeah the choosing your own adventure with the length is really really fun so i'd recommend the pattern i'd recommend the fabric um I wouldn't recommend accidentally putting in a zip inside out because it sucks. The next thing I made went a lot better. Um, it was another Helen's Closet make actually, and it was the Luna Top, which was a free pattern that they released. I want to say that was in September. Yeah, I think it was September they released that. So everyone can access that. All you have to do is go to their website and sign up to their newsletter, and then you get sent the zip file with the instructions and the pattern pieces and everything. This was so easy to do, so hopefully pictures will come up there. Um, and I used this wonderful jersey that I'd had from DIY or Die in my fabric stash for a bit. Um, I think I've been telling people it's black and white, and it's not. It's actually navy, 
and white and the patterns have a teeny tiny bit of glitter as well which you're not going to be able to see i'm really struggling with the natural light situation at the moment um but yeah it's it's stretchy enough and i think actually it was a kind of perfect material for the top so the Luda tank top if you haven't seen it before it's basically a swing vest there's only i think i want to say three or four pieces in it so you've got the front the back and the um the kind of bias binding pieces for the neck and the armholes um it was so easy to make i i cannot even explain um i took about a week and a bit to make this but i think if i'd really pushed myself i could have done it in a day but as i mentioned in my last video i'm finding that i'm a little slower sewing at the moment i don't think that's a bad thing um but yeah, it took me a week and a bit and I definitely could have done it in a day if I'd really wanted to. So really nice quick make. Obviously, it's really good that it's free. Um, I think I had two metres of, of the fabric in question. And I think it's like around a metre, just over a metre that you end up using. So yeah, I'd really recommend that. Unfortunately, I don't think it's a top that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of at the moment. Just because, you know, autumn, winter. But I'm excited to wear this again in the summer um yeah so the final thing i wanted to share with you all today um i'm cheating a little bit with this one because i didn't actually make it in october i actually made it in september but i was put on an embargo to not discuss it which is exciting um so i got involved with pattern testing for tilly and the buttons which was really exciting and i was sent their news pattern that they just released the billy sweatshirt which I was sent back in, yeah, it was, yeah, September. So obviously I was told not to say anything about it. So I had this lovely jumper that I couldn't share with anybody. Um, but yeah, because the pattern's released, I can chat about it freely now. So this is the pattern, just in case you haven't seen it yet. I think it was only released last week. So with that, I, when it came to pattern testing, I made the simplest version of it, which was just a sweatshirt, um, with like normal sleeves and like a kind of, I think it kind of falls at about hip length. But the more complicated versions of the pattern are, uh, you can extend it to make it a dress and you can also have like balloon sleeves on it as well. But um, I think I'm going to make a dress version next, I think, definitely. So with that, what I ended up doing was I did go a bit off piece with the material recommendations. <laughs> um, and I ended up ordering, the colour's going to not show up well here, like I said, you can see my window in the background, it's it's dark. Um, this lovely, the colour is literally called pumpkin as well, so perfect for this time of year. And this is a lovely stretchy um, tencel jersey that I bought from So Me Sunshine um, back in September as well. I'm not sure if it is still on their website. But if it is, I will pop it in the link below. They had loads of colours of like the plain tensile jersey and it feels so nice. Obviously, because it's like a jersey, the jumper isn't very snuggly or cosy, but I wear it over a lot of stuff and it's very like easy to wear. And um, yeah, they had literally every colour in the rainbow. Um, so yes. Jumper turned out great. I was really happy with it. Obviously, the patterns changed a little bit from when I tested it a few months ago. Um, but I really enjoyed making it. The pattern has said that um, this is for confident beginners, and I think I would probably agree. I don't think a, for a first jersey project, um, first knit or jersey project, this would be like the number one thing to go for. But I think if, like me, you've like had a few knit fabric projects under your belt I think this would be like an ideal like up leveling and an ideal kind of way to get a bit more confident with those skills um yeah I loved making it and um it was really nice to work with them as well and um yeah all the instructions are really good as you would expect from them there's loads of um like helpful blogs on their website their website's a really good place to turn to even if you're not using their patterns for whatever reason um, there's a lot of good resources and YouTube videos and things like that. So yeah, I'd recommend doing it. I'm definitely going to make it again. I think a dress version in a more snuggly, jumpery fabric, I think. 
Um, the final thing I wanted to mention, I did mention Minerva earlier, and I have mentioned this on my Instagram as well, but they recently relaunched their website and it looks great now. It looks like kind of sewing Instagram, which I love. So really easy to use. Um, anyone can create a profile on there. You don't have to be working with Minerva or like one of the Minerva blogging network or makers or what have you. You can just pop on there and um yeah create a profile and share pictures and connect with other makers on there i've got a profile on there, so i'll put the link to that in the description box below as well as everything else i've chatted about today but yeah i'd really recommend popping on there if you're looking for some inspiration um obviously it's linked to the shop as well so you know the projects i've done where i have bought materials from minerva um, I've linked to those. You can like buy like project kits. I think that's something they've been doing for a while on the website, but everything's a bit more streamlined now. And I really, really love the new website. So yeah, pop on there and have a look. Um, I think that's me for October, November. I've been doing um, my sewing this month. It's been very boring and practical. So I've been doing a lot of repair jobs. Um, I have had loads of pairs of leggings that have um like chub rub holes anyone out there like knows what i'm talking about hopefully um but yeah lots of repair jobs so i've been fixing all those and then i'm on the christmas present treadmill so making lots of presents for my lovely friends and family and um, but hopefully i'll be able to share some of those as well and um yeah, share what I'm doing, especially with my massive bag of scraps, which is taking on an absolute life of its own at the moment. So hopefully I'll be working through those and getting some lovely Christmas gifts out of them. But yeah, I'll definitely share what I've been doing around that because it's been really fun to do the research uh, for it so far. So I'm going to love and leave you all. I hope everyone's well. I hope everyone's doing good with lockdown. Um, I'm in Wales, so literally today, we're kind of a bit more free now but anyone in England or elsewhere that are still having it um use the use the time to do something nice for yourself I hope you use the time to get lots of crafty stuff done and yeah I'm looking forward to catching up with you all again see you all soon <laughs>